everyone, my next guest will be appearing at the Gotham Comedy Club June 13th through the 15th as part of the Toyota Comedy Festival right here in New York City. Please welcome the very funny Greg Giraldo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, Conan. How's it going? I, uh, I've had a lot of things going on in my personal life recently, so I, I haven't had a lot of time to write new jokes, so please bear with me. You guys been uh, watching these Winter Olympics? <laughs> USA this year, man. We're doing pretty well. I love the Olympics. I love the hard luck stories, you know, how hard it was for the athletes to get there. They're always like the same story. Now they're really starting to stretch, you know. They had one guy who was a lugeist or a lu luge -er, a luge person. And they said it was amazing he was there because he had overcome dyslexia. <laughs> You're just laying on your back and sliding down an icy chute. What does dyslexia have to do with it? There's no signs you got to read on the way down. You can't get all confused and turn around, try to come back up halfway. You can be dead and be pretty good at the luge. And someone told me maybe I shouldn't do that joke on television because it was a simplistic view of dyslexia and it might offend a lot of people. Like they're gonna write letters. <laughs> Dear Mr. Squiggle Squiggle Mark, I was very deaf and offed off by... Now, the, uh, the Middle East, what's going on over there? Can't they just agree to disagree? What? Can't we send Colin Powell or Carson Daly over there or somebody and straighten them out? I was talking to this Arab friend of mine. He says, how come the Americans always support the Israelis? Why do the Americans always support the Israelis? He says, it's probably because in America, the Jews have all the money and they control the media, which is ridiculous and only part of it. The main... There are other reasons. Americans don't follow international affairs. We don't know what goes on in other countries. The average American has no clue what's going on in the Middle East. So basically, the Americans support the Israelis for one reason. Because the Israelis never do this. That's the whole thing. And your average American's like, I don't know what's going on over there, but I don't like that. That noise is not right. This Arab friend of mine, this same imaginary Arab friend of mine, he was saying to me, that guy's got a lot of theories. And he said to me, uh, it stinks for him now because he's always stereotyped as a terrorist. And every time he travels, people assume he's a terrorist. And of course that's got to stink, but this is America. We all have stereotypes we have to deal with. I'm half Colombian and half Spanish. I don't get upset every time people assume that I'm a bullfighter. I don't. I just work that much harder to prove that I'm not a bullfighter, that's all. I can't take my sword or my cape anywhere. That, that's my cross to bear. You don't think I'd love to wear my skin-tight pink capri pants with the bedazzling on them? Every other guy can, but if I do, ooh, I'm a bullfighter all of a sudden. This country's made up of people from all over the world. That's what makes this country great. The downside is that everybody's got to show their ethnic pride all the time, so we have to have a parade in the city every other day. It's got to take me 12 hours to get across town because it's like the Albanian patron saint of cabbages feast day or something. And they got to put the stupid parades on television. Who wants to watch parades on TV? They're boring. The St. Patrick's Day parade was on television. Oh, look, Irish people walking. That's great. Look how Irish they look with the way they're walking. Those Irish people. At least the Puerto Rican Day parade, it makes sense to put that on television because we could always use those tapes as evidence. Now, now, Oh, oh, no, you didn't. So, now it's, now it's the summertime. I wonder what new crisis we'll have to deal with. Every summer there's a new drought or a new, you know, storm or a new disease. There's always new diseases every summer. Last summer here on the East Coast, it was the West Nile virus, which you get from mosquitoes. They knew it was coming back because they found two birds in Whitestone, Queens that were dead or infected with this virus. Who's finding these birds? They can't keep terrorists off of planes, but they find two birds with the sniffles in Northern Queens somewhere. I, I grew up in Queens. You used to find dead birds all the time. You didn't take them in for autopsies. You picked them up and you threw them at the gay kid. That's what we did. It was wrong. I'm not saying it was right. We were children. Kids are cruel. I didn't even know what gay was. We just knew he ran like a girl when you threw dead things at him, so we did it. And it was wrong. You know who I hate is people who eat with chopsticks. And I don't mean Asian people, they're cool. 
I mean, I mean, other people eat with chopsticks because they always have such a smug, self-satisfied look on their face when they do it, you know? Just the chopsticks, thanks. I'll be using this stuff. I'm very well-traveled. I'll be going with just the chopsticks. I'm very familiar with your ways, little man. Just the chopsticks. You think there's an American restaurant somewhere in Asia where the locals get to feel good about themselves for eating with silverware? I just go with the fork, what do you think? <laughs> I saw that movie Monsters Ball the other day. That's a great movie about love conquering race and racism. But um, for the casting is bizarre. Yeah, Billy Bob Thornton plays a racist corrections officer who manages to overcome his racism enough to have sex with Halle Berry. <laughs> Good to see people rise above the hate like that, huh? It's Halle Berry. I'm pretty sure even the Grand Wizard of the KKK would have walked across that bridge. You want to... You want to... You want to show me that love can conquer anything? It should have been Brad Pitt and Whoopi Goldberg. Thank you, Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.